Hi, I'm Lassie and um, I'm going to teach you something here on this new video series for YouTube that we're going to make and start today. And we're going to make a series of how we can help you with the tools that you already have at home. And some of them how to adjust the tools that you already have so they work better. In the first video here we're going to show you, and I know that many of you at home, you already have a small shrinker like this. And you know that first of all that they are hand operated like this and people maybe bolt it to a, a table or to uh, uh, put it in a vise and using it that way. And I mean this is a great tool, it, many times it, it works very good. Some brands are a little worse than others but uh, you can actually make them so they work better. <clears throat> the first thing you should think about to do is to have the stands for it so you have a, both hands free and have a foot operated like this. And this is a stand that, that you can make by yourself. And we're going to make those um, uh, blueprints available for you to purchase on my website. So you get all the dimensions right and then you can make it by yourself at home. So that's two different things be between the hand operated and the, the foot operated. The other thing is that the jaws that's inside here. They, the, those jaws works actually really good. But many times when they come from the factory, they are lined up like this. And they shouldn't be that way. If they are lined up like this, uh, and most of them are that from the factory, then they're only shrinking about one sixteen of an inch there, and one sixteen of an inch on the top there. So that's all the travel the jaws do when you put them together like this. But if if you mount it, if they was mounted like this, so they are offset. Then this one shrinks one sixteen of an inch, and the top one also shrink one sixteen of an inch. But it's little offset there, so it will shrink about one eighth of an inch. That means that it works so much faster, and you can do the jobs faster and better quality too. And the other thing is that I'm going to take this apart so you can see many of those when they are made from the factory they made them in a milling machine like this so you can see some, still see some lines here this way but it slides this way. So that means that if the lines are the, the 90 degrees to the way they're sliding they will not slide so good. So what I do, I take them to the belt grinder and, and sand it on this surface so make it more clean and smooth so they slide better. Then I take a little of this STP oil treatment, the, uh, the thick um, sticky STP uh, oil treatment. It works really, 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 really good. And you put a little drop there on, on both all those uh, sliding areas. It works so much better. The other thing is that you should be aware of also, and many of those when they come from the factory, they are not set right. But you see uh, on those jaws here that this jaw there and this jaw there should be in level. So when they go down to the sheet, when you move it down to the sheet, they should touch the sheet in the same time. But many times uh, this is like this. So you see one is further down than the other one. And that means that when this touching the sheet, it starts going 90 degrees direction this way to shrink the metal. But this one is still on the way down. So that, that means that you're losing the power. So what I do, I take a plier and then I rebend this wire here because it's a different length on the wire down to where it is go there. So this is a different length from side to side and it should be the same length. So I actually take a plier and rebend this or rebend this until they are in level. Then it works so much better for you. They are heat treated so that works fine and they last for a long time. And you know that from all my classes we're testing the machines in the classes and so I know what I'm talking about. 
and I have five different people in, the, in each class that testing the machine and they all using the different pressure with the foot. I mean, so, so it's a little uh, like the machines can be a little abused. So we're really testing it, you know, and see what it goes for. And sometimes the, the, the shrinker and the stretcher or the stretcher uh, gives up in a class. They don't work so good. And I need to take them apart at lunchtime or something like that and see what I can do to fix them. So that's why I figured it out how to adjust those. But this is something that you can do at home so you can have your tools that you already have to work better for you and do a better job. Another thing that you can do, and this is a little like an option, but you can take this wire off there and you can grind a little off on this surface there and do the same thing on this side grind a little off on that surface and you open up the gap between them so you actually can the the, the way it travel it's increasing the travel so it shrinks more sometimes you should also clean the teeth with a stainless steel brush and clean the teeth especially if you're using them for aluminum So this is the first video in a series where we're going to do our best to teach people out there all over the world to use their tools better and have them to work better for you with already existing tools that you have. If you want more information follow us on my website www.lassimetalshaping.com or go to the youtube.com and search for Lassie Metal Shaping and all my videos shows up there.